हरिओम वेलकम आई डियर चिल्ड्रेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ बायोलॉजी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू आर स्टेइंग सेफ एट योर होम बाय योर बेबी द इंस्ट्रक्शंस गिवन बाय द हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर एस एम एस दैट इज कीप सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग यूज डबल एयर मास्क देन यूज सैनिटाइजर ओके एंड बी सेफ एट योर होम ड्रिंक इट प्लेंटी ऑफ वाटर ईट हेल्थी फूड एक्सरसाइज रेगुलरली Take care of your parents and take care of yourself. Okay, so let's start the class with Swami Chidayananda Ji's talk. Just listen here. Happiness depends on what you can give, not on what you can get. So, once more, listen. Happiness depends on what you can give, not on what you can get. What's the meaning of this talk? Yes, true happiness is that, or it depends upon what you are giving to others. Is it? But not on what you can get. निंगल नल गन न दिला ने दार ता संदोषन इन बारे इन दर. निंगल अब तो इमोटे किट्टम बड़ा अल्लाह निंगल अंगोटे ने गिलो नल गुम्बोड़ आने कुड़ गुम्बोड़ आने ये दार ता संदोषन इन दर बारे इन दर. Okay, so try to help others. So try to give something to others. That must be your real happiness. Okay, so always keep this thought in your mind. So let's start today's revision. That is today's chapter is conservation of plants and animals. Already we have revised so many times this chapter, and in this chapter, first of all, we have studied about deforestation. So, Nidhi, what do you mean by deforestation? Yes, you are correct. That means. Deforestation is the cutting of trees and forest, is it? And utilize that area for any other purposes. Or clearing of the forest, it is called deforestation. And can you say what are the causes of deforestation? Abarna. Yes, so many reasons are there, is it? Here are some. Just listen. Procuring land for cultivation. Then building houses and factories. Then making furniture. So so many factors or causes are there for this deforestation. Is it clear? So next is the consequences of deforestation. That means after effects of the deforestation. Is it? So have you can you say one consequence of deforestation? Yes, you are correct. That is droughts and flood. How it happens at the same time? This droughts and floods. Actually, when the trees are cut down, it may be uh, there may be a sudden increase in the temperature, and it leads to re reduction of rainfall. Decreases the rainfall, so it can leads to droughts. Varaycha, is it? And at the same time, on the other side. Without plants, so removal of uh, plants. Okay, so the water holding capacity of the soil is lost, and it can lead to floods. Okay, the next one is desertification, removal of the top layer of the soil at the time of deforestation, and that top layer is most fertile. Is it gradually this? Layer, ah, uh, top layer we move it. Then, yani, which all our layer it is gradually converted into desert area or less fertile area, and that is called desertification. Then, what do you mean by global warming? It is sure. Yes, due to the forestation, plants and trees are cut, is it? And there may be sudden increase in the temperature. That means sudden increase in the carbon dioxide. How it happens? Yes, because there are no plants to take in the carbon dioxide, is it? So there may be a sudden increase in the carbon dioxide, and it leads to sudden increase in the temperature, and it leads to global warming. So, what are the main consequences of this deforestation current? Yes, droughts and floods, global warming, desertification, and so many other 
consequences are also there is it so many animals lost we lost their habitat and truly it will uh, adversely affect the whole nature whole environment is it clear so what do you mean by a uh, flora and fauna yes flora means the plant species is it and fauna means animal so in order to protect our flora and fauna population several protected areas are there is it can you see some example for that neha yes wildlife sanctuary national park biosphere reserve is it these three are the protected areas to protect the flora and fauna wildlife sanctuary it is the protected area to protect the whole wild life is it the national park where the uh, animals can freely use their habitat is it then what about biosphere reserve yes both conservation of plants and animals take place in that area to protect both plants and animal species so these are the protected areas to protect our flora and fauna so next is species is it what do you mean by species sumitra so yes it is a group of population which is capable for interbreeding is it so what do you mean by species it is a group of population which is capable for interbreeding homo sapiens human beings okay the next one endemic species endemic species means species of plants and animals which can which are exclude exclusively can be Uh, or can so in that particular area, or they are available only in the particular area, endemic to a particular area. Such type of species is called endemic species. The next one, endangered animals. The animals are on the verge of extinction. Is it? Such group is called. endangered animals for example tiger population and in order to protect or uh, the maintain the population of tiger government was launched a project that is called project tiger so what is the purpose of this project yes in order to protect the tiger population So next is red data book. What is red data book? Al Amin. Yes, it is the source book in which record of endangered plants and uh, animals are given. Is it endangered? I tell you, plants and the animals in the record will be in the source book. It is the source book. Then what do you mean by migration? Yes, it's the process in which birds or animals migrate to or shift to another place from their own habitat. Is it because of uh, several reasons? Maybe climate change, shortage of food. So many reasons are there, and when their own habitat is okay for their living, they will come back. So that is called migration. the next is reforestation what is a reforestation abarna yes it is the restocking of plants and trees that is called a reforestation is it clear so dear children i hope all of you understood the whole chapter always a daily read your textbook study the notes properly If you have any more doubts, you can just text me in WhatsApp. My dear children, God bless you all. Let's meet you in the next class. Thank you.